Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Diego Granados and I'm a product manager. Today, we will talk about one question that candidates typically don't put a lot of effort into practicing. After interviewing many, many, many candidates, I can tell you that only a few have given a great answer to the question, why do you want to become a product manager? And while it sounds like an easy question to answer, a bad answer can make you fail the interview process. So stay tuned until the end because today I'll teach you how to create a great answer to why product management. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for the best tips on breaking into product management and reach out if you have any questions. In another video, I showed you how to answer, walk me through your resume or tell me about yourself and why it's important to have a great story for your interviewer. And today I want to talk about another question that unless you are already a product manager, it's very likely you will get at the beginning of your interview. And so interviewers may ask you why product management? And while it may sound like an easy question at this point, after doing all of your research, most people actually don't give a good answer and it may end up affecting the outcome of the interview. The most common mistake that people do on this question is that they give a very generic answer full of keywords. For example, I've interviewed people who have given me answers like, I want to be a product manager because I'm really passionate about working cross-functionally, especially on understanding customer needs and translating that into product requirements for the team. Or because I really excel at communication with stakeholders, I have experience interacting with customers and creating proposals for the leadership team, including engineering or because I find it really exciting that PM set the vision and the roadmap for products and I've worked in the past with setting requirements for a project and I believe I can contribute to the team with this experience. Even from other interviewers, I've heard that they get answers like, I want to be a product manager because I want to be the CEO of a product and help the team successfully launch it. The biggest problem with these type of answers is that while well, yes, they include some of the right keywords, there's nothing unique about these answers. In an interview, I could have said these reasons or you or anybody else. Pretend for a moment that you are an interviewer and you interview three candidates who give you the similar answers to what I just mentioned. Would you believe that they actually want to be in product management? And after the interview, would you remember who gave you which answer? Probably not. So let's talk now about how to create a good answer to why product management. To create a great answer to why product management, you have to add part of your own story into the mix. Add something that makes it kind of unique to you, like uh, talking about your previous work or projects at school, uh, if you're a student, of course, or you know, even side projects outside of work and, and school, if you are maybe building something. And you can start by listing some common skills and experiences in product management, like working cross-functionally, dealing with ambiguity, living without authority, launching products, defining roadmaps, and any other thing that you can think of. Now, your goal is to take these skills and mix them with your past experience to create the answer. After all, you probably didn't want to become a PM just by reading an article, right? There has to be something about your previous experience at work or at school, or even a side project that you really enjoy doing and that resonates with what PMs we do in our everyday. Let's take one of the examples that we mentioned at the beginning of this video. I'm really passionate about working cross-functionally, especially in understanding customer needs and translating that into product requirements for the team. There's really nothing unique to this answer. So let's break it down and see how we can make it a great answer to why product management. Okay, so this example talks about working cross-functionally, understanding customer needs, and creating requirements. All of these are the right keywords, but it's lacking that personal experience that will make your story more believable. What you want to share with your interviewer is that you have transferable skills that will make you a successful product manager. Let's do an example on how to improve this. Imagine that you have experience as a consultant. You can change the reasons why you want to become a product manager to something like this. I want to become a product manager because first, I enjoy working with customers to understand their pain points and figure out how to solve them. For example, in my previous job as a consultant, one of the things that I enjoyed the most was to work closely with customers to understand their business problems and see how we could solve them using the products our firm offered. I would take the things that I learned from customers and work on translating them into requirements for our engineering, integration, and design teams. And now I'm eager to continue doing this as a product manager and being the voice of the customer for the team. 
In this example, the reason why I want to become a product manager is actually much more believable because I'm sharing a tangible example of a transferable skill. Don't forget that the goal here is to give just a short and very concise story, so don't plan on sharing a star story yet, or at least not in this moment. Your interviewer will ask you follow-up questions later where you can explain much more and go into your star stories. My recommendation is to share at least three reasons to why you want to become a product manager, but not just any reasons. Remember to talk about things that are related to product management. I know this sounds too obvious, but you'd be surprised at how many people don't follow this simple advice. So let's pick another example and talk about communication and being data-driven. Here is an example that I shared earlier that we are going to improve. I really excel at communication with stakeholders. I have experience interacting with customers and creating proposals for the leadership team, including engineering. We can improve this by adding a personal story from a previous experience. I want to become a product manager because, second, I use data to make decisions and see myself doing this as a product manager to improve our product. For example, last year, I led an effort to send a survey to our customers and interview partners of our consulting firm to understand more about their business needs and gaps in the services we offered. This resulted in creating a new business line for our firm, which I created and led after elaborating a proposal backed up by data to the executives in our firm. And once again, your answers should be short and concise and even just a teaser that will lead later to tell your star stories. In total, your three reasons or whichever number of answers you choose shouldn't last more than a few minutes. Three to five minutes, it's okay. And while we did only two examples in this video, one nice way to finish this interview question is to summarize the skills you mentioned. For example, you can tell something like this to your interviewer at the end. So in summary, the three reasons why I want to become a PM is because first, I enjoy working with customers to understand their pain points and solve them. Second, I use data to make decisions. And third, whichever other reason you mentioned in your interview. And with all of this, your interviewer will have a very clear idea of why you want to become a product manager, some of your transferable skills you have, and the next time they see your resume after the interview, it'll be way easier to remember your reasons to become a PM when they see your previous experience of, in this example, a consultant. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new today. Don't forget that questions like why do you want to become a product manager are very important and the answer should be unique to you. Best of luck in your interviews and don't forget to reach out if you have any questions. I'll see you next time.